Hey, good morning and welcome back to Old Timer Garage. So today I'm gonna try and uh, restart my 2CV. Uh, it hasn't started for almost four years now since I left the UK and uh, I just want to see if it starts again and if there's anything that uh, needs to be done on it. So first of all I need to get to it because as you can see it's somewhere in the shed that's at the back there so I need to move all of that first. So I'll stop there and uh, see what needs to be done after that. I needed to get out of the way now I should be able to open the doors so give me just one sec I'll do that and I'll show you, show you inside all right so here it is hasn't seen the light of day for almost four years now uh, so actually I came here the other day maybe a week ago so just to pick up some tools and I had a quick look inside and I found a, a mice nest which I took out but that's all I did to it so I want to take it out of here and check whatever damage the mice might have done to the electric cables and everything else so we'll do that together and then we can try and see if it would start so I'll take everything out of the way and uh, push it outside so we have a better view on it and. Uh, we we'll walk around it once again because well it's been a while and we can take it from there. Here it is, just a little bit dustier than when I left it, but everything is here. So let's take a look inside, right? So as you can see, that's where I found the mice nest the other day. Apart from that, it shouldn't be too bad. I think they went into the, uh, the soundproofing material in the <coughs> firewall. You can see there's a bunch of it here on the ground, on the floor. They probably went in there. Oh well. It's an old car that needs to be restored anyway, so. As long as they didn't chew on the electric cables, let's take a look under the hood. Put the support here. There you go. That looks pretty much the way I left it. So unless they went in the heating. Yeah, they went in there. See, I don't know how much you can see. Let me try and put some lights. I'm pretty sure there's some in there. See, that's full of uh, mice. That doesn't really matter. This one, oh, this one seems okay. There you go. Eric. 
cleaner. Pretty much the way I left it. Pretty much the way I left it. There you go. How about oil? Perfect. It's not even black. I mean, this oil is probably about a thousand miles on it because I just changed it before I left for well before I left the UK to come back to France and uh, that's all I did with it so brake fluid perfect I'm pretty confident this car should start. I need to check on the battery. I disconnected it, of course, but pretty sure it's empty now. And it's gonna be bring the other car next to it so I can jump start it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to do to it. I'll bring the other car. Well, maybe I can even. That's, def that's definitely red in there. I don't know if you can see it, but this battery is dead. So I'm gonna reconnect it, see if I get anything, then take the other car, bring it next to it, and uh, connect the jump jump cable, jump cables, and then we can see if there's any fire just by. But from what I can see, at least on this side, the mice didn't. I haven't done any damage here, which is big relief because I wasn't sure about that. Everything else is connected and looks pretty much the way I left it. So I'm not too worried about that. The starter motor was new, I replaced it right before leaving the UK. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Alright, let's reconnect the battery. Nothing, not even a yeah, tiny spark. I'll try and set you up there and then I'll get the other car. sure that I don't, I don't have any electric shorts or anything like that but it doesn't look like it I'm already building oil pressure I'm just trying to see if the uh, fuel pump is gonna pump fuel from what's left in the tank because I don't know if I have any fuel left here otherwise I would I would have poured a little bit in the, directly in the carburetor but uh, I see, I'll make another couple of tries and uh, if, I, if it doesn't work then I'll see if I can find some fuel somewhere. Let's try again.
that should be enough to start with. Let's try again. So I just need to see if there's some gas left in the tank. Get the fuel pump, pump something, and then it should be all right. Let's try again.
fuel leak. Massive gas leak there. So okay. Let's see if I can find the last. Let's see if I can restart it. This car is just awesome. Hasn't run for four years. I just put some gas down the carburetor just to get everything started and then starts first time. Really cool car and it idles and everything. Feels like a kitten. I still have a little bit of a fuel leak there, but nothing serious. And that's about it. So I'm gonna stop it right and then I'll come back with uh, fix that later let me show you inside still pretty dirty from the mice nest but let's see if we have gears First gear, reverse, we have gears and clutch. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna stop it before starting the fire there. But I'm really happy. I want to take this car with me to the US at some point. I just need to figure out the best way of doing that. That's really cool. The back on. There you go. Well, I think that'll do it for this video. I'm going I'm just going to put everything back inside, and uh, yeah, I'll be back later for more videos. I'm taking off to the U.S. again in three days from today, and uh, so we'll see. I've, like I said in the previous video, I've got very big news for this channel and uh, everything is uh, classic car related so there will be a lot more videos and a lot of uh, 
different things happening in the next few weeks so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider subscribing and clicking on that uh, bell button so you get uh, notified whenever I upload the next video but I'll try and upload uh, videos maybe not every day but pray on a regular basis uh, maybe not every day but on a regular basis over the next two three weeks because everything is going to happen now in the next two weeks probably so if I take maybe a few days to edit everything because I'm going to be very busy but uh, yeah basically I'll share with you everything I'm doing along the way and I'm pretty sure if you're like me you're going to be very excited so that's it for now uh, thanks for following everything I'm doing and uh, yeah take care that's just a B12 sitting there or sleeping there with the uh, spare body and here I've got the old uh, Peugeot 102 that I used to ride when I was a kid and my father's 103 behind it that my brothers used to ride I like these all of these old things at some point I want to put most of what I have in a container and bring it to the US I'm not sure yet how and when that's gonna happen but that's what I want to do alright time to go thanks for watching